That's right, you guys know what time it is. It's time for me to rank these girls way too early and against my better judgment. So, of course, we know these girls from Link Like Love Life. These girls are pretty new, and we got a preview of how they look. We got a little bit of the animation that they're going to be doing in the, their kind of 3D environment. And we got some basic information on the girls, and we also got songs for these girls. So, I think that's at least enough to give me an early ranking that, of course, will probably age like milk. But I figured I want to do this because I'm curious. I'm sure you guys are curious what my personal feelings are as of right now, and I'm also curious to see what your guys' opinions are as well. So, of course, there will be a poll, which I'll talk about later. So, let's go ahead and jump to the first girl. It will be Kahohi Noshita. And I'm going to say, reluctantly, that she's kind of been my favorite out of these girls so far. At least, aesthetically, her look. I, I think she looks like a really nice, bright character. She's kind of got that bunny pin, which I think is kind of cute. Although, I think she's probably been my favorite of all these girls. She kind of has a voice that makes me feel a little reminiscent of Ayumu. Uh, it's not, of course, exactly like. None of these girls are exactly like in terms of voices, but that's almost kind of like the feel that I get from her, except kind of more of a, I don't know, kitty version of Ayumu. That's almost how I want to put it, but I do like Ayumu, and I do see some parallels of that. I don't know if she's going to be the leader kind of character, but she's bright and vibrant, and overall, I kind of like her so much, so far, and I kind of liked her voice as well. So we'll de I'll definitely like to see more of her to really get my opinion on it, but... At least look wise, she's kind of been my favorite so far. Voice, I, I it's way too early for me to know who's my favorite voice, but I've been liking her voice so far. And of course, first thing we'll talk about that later in terms of songs. But I think I, I do like her voice so far. But overall, a lot of these girls have been pretty good so far for me, and I'm definitely looking forward to learning more about her and seeing what I can learn from her and the videos that hopefully will have some subs in English. That would be really, really cool. As for giving her a grade, since you guys will be doing that too, I guess I'll try, even though I'm really not sure. Uh, I'm thinking an A probably from what I've seen so far. I There's a lot I like what I see so far, but I don't want to give anybody an S because I just haven't seen enough. So let's go with A for now. Now we move on to her buddy, who's also part of the same unit, we have Kozue Otomune, and I, I don't know, I feel like I don't really know enough about her, and nothing that's really making me, you know, she's not really grabbing my attention, I think she looks fine, and I see some elements of that I do like, and her voice, I think it kind of makes me think of Shizuku, to be honest, that, that's kind of the voice equivalent that just stuck in my head for some reason but um overall i mean she seems like a decent character i kind of like her looks and voice of course is a big part of me and of course she also sings the song that kaho sings as well and i'll talk about that song later as well but i i think they've done a pretty fantastic job when she's an honor student i usually tend to like the honor students they tend to have a personality that builds well with me so overall, I do see some potential on her. I don't know if it will be realized or not, but I'm, I think I will put her at least in a B for right now. Now we move on to Sayaka Murano, and I kind of, I kind of like what I see from her. She almost kind of feels like she has an Emoto look, you know, kind of the younger sister look. I don't know if she actually is a younger sister or not, but you know, I kind of like her hair color and the style. Overall, I, I do like what I see from her so far. Okay, I need to see more for her. And from the singing, I, I'm not entirely sure who her voice is yet because it's too early and we don't have a lyric video to show that out for me. So, But either voice has seemed pretty decent so far. So I think I'm willing to give her maybe a B plus based on my initial reactions of what I've seen from her so far. But... You know, she's a first year, she works hard, and I, I think that's great. And this issue is a figure skater, so I'm wondering if that might come up in some elements later. So overall, I do see some potential for her, and hopefully she will be able to realize that. So now we go to Suzuri Yugiri. And, well, so she has kind of that personality where, she, what they say is absent-minding, and, you know, she kind of 
feels like she almost has a personality where she's very stoic. And I don't know, that's not really a character that I care that much about when, when I watch other anime. And I... I mean, that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from her. And I don't think that's, of course, going to doom my ability to like her. Because look-wise, I think she's fine. I think it's a little more simple than I would like, but honestly, I think she's she's done all right so far. And of course, the one thing I did really like is that her symbol is a penguin, and I like penguins a lot. So I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for her. And of course, the song awoke. I, again, I don't know who, which which part she was singing, but I think she has a pretty good voice. But this is something I definitely really need to see more of. As sometimes, you know, there are characters that... When we don't really know enough for me to get a good assessment on her. Because I, I do see some pot potential in her. But I'm also slightly skeptical on her based on kind of personality she gives off immediately. And that shouldn't be a death sentence. Like, for example, Kanta, I wasn't really big sold on her when I first saw her. Because, oh my god, she's just a sleeper girl. I don't care about sleepy girls. But look where we are now. And I really like Kanata. Because her soul songs are just amazing. And that's definitely put something potential that she could realize in the future. So if I were to give her a ranking, maybe a B minus for what I see so far. Definitely don't hate her. And also she's pretty dang tall. She's actually my height. So that's kind of crazy to think about. Now we move on to Megumi Fujishima. And I feel like she's probably the girl that most personifies the average girl in terms of look. That's... That's fine by me, honestly. But it is probably the most bland design, I think. But honestly, I think she looks kind of good overall. And I usually like the girls with long hair. And their hobbies definitely line up with stuff that I do for my hobbies. You know, this whole YouTube channel. So I can definitely see that being an attractive trait of hers. So we'll have to see how that gets incorporated and I definitely want to see you know how much he actually does it but I see some potential the thing that probably so far that attracts me the most so far when I see from her is the, the soul song she definitely seems to have a little higher pitch voice um, I'm curious to see how that's going to be put on our songs I don't think it's a death sentence for her but it kind of puts me off a little bit so far but if I were to give her a grade right now I'm kind of between B- and C+. So, out of the sake of having more separation, I'll probably put her in a C plus range. And last but not least, we have Rudino Osawa. And this is probably my least favorite character, if I'm going to be honest with you. There are elements that I like. I think the fact that she can kind of her hair style with the blue highlights, I think actually looks kind of nice. So, uh, just aesthetically, her look... I don't know, I think I kind of like it. I would put it, probably put it towards the middle, maybe? Uh, but the thing that probably puts her towards the bottom is she definitely kind of seems to be that gremlin-like character. And I usually don't really vibe that well with those kind of characters. You know, kind of that Nico-esque state or emotions and personality. And I listened to her, the, her singing in Dododo, -do -do, and she definitely seems to have a higher voice. And I, don't, I just don't really like higher voices. And that usually can really hurt how much I like a character overall. So, I don't know. So, I definitely have to see more. But I'm probably going to give her a C as the way I see it. But of course, these are just my initial feelings. They probably will age pretty poorly. And I don't want you guys to take this as a personal attack or anything. It's just how I feel, and I'm curious to see how you guys feel about these girls so far. What are your hopes? What are your worries? What are what do you like that you've seen so far, and what do you don't like? I'm curious to see how you guys feel about these girls, and what do you think these girls can bring to Love Live in general? Again, this is, of course, this early, so I'm sure we're going to look back at this and laugh at us and say, wow, that, that was stupid. You know, I, I, I did that plenty of times. I look at some of my old rankings, and I'm like, jeez, what is this guy thinking? But yeah, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to talk about the songs. So 
So we already have six songs that have been revealed and previewed already. If you want to listen to the full previews, I'll give you a link in the description. You can go ahead and watch that. I'm only going to give you snippets just to get, remind you what song I'm talking about. And there's also actually Sedai's Bouquet. That's actually got released in full for their song with uh, Suicide Sekai. So watch that lyric video. It's actually pretty dang good. But So I did want to talk about these songs. Again, these are my early feelings on these songs. And I was wanted to rank or grade them as well and I want to see your guys' opinions on these songs. Of course this is just early and we need to listen to them a lot more but this is something I've been doing recently where I've been listening to songs a lot to really try to solidify my early opinions on these songs and see what songs do you guys like the most. So without further ado let's go ahead and jump to the first song Dream Believers. <laughs> So the first song is Dream Believers, and it's sung with the whole group Hasuna Soda Girls High School Auto Club. Again, that's such a pain to say, but I feel like this is definitely the song that has the broadest appeal. It's the most idol-like song. This is something I would imagine like a lot of the first songs for many groups. It's got that kind of high energy and is very singable and danceable to that kind of song. And if there would be like an opening, I would imagine if I had to pick an opening from these songs, it would be that one. But overall, it I don't I, I'm a guy who talks about love like music and idol music. Of course, I'm probably going to likely like songs like this. It's something that really fits in that kind of mold. Is it my favorite song? No, it's not. But I think it's a pretty good song overall. So with that kind of feelings in mind, what would I rank this song? What would I grade it? I would probably give it a a B, I would say. Um, it's a song that I definitely enjoy and listen to, but I don't know if this is something I would listen to that far into the future. I'm listening to a lot more just because it's new, but I don't know if that's going to stay. And I tend to try to be a little more harsh on song rankings because I like giving a lot of power to a song if it has stayed the test of the time. So if it's something I continue to listen to for many years in advance. Uh, in the future so right now I'm, I'm thinking it's it's a B it's a good song I like listening to it I'll listen to it once in a while but it's not something that is like crazy amazing for me <laughs> on your mark is the second song in this mini album and it's also a group song and this one's actually kind of fun to listen to. It's got a kind of nice, cool beat, and it's something you can, you know, bop your head to. And I actually find this pretty fun to listen to overall. I would say that I, oh, I don't know if I was initially going to put it over Dream Believers when I first listened to this, but the more I listen to this, the more I think, you know, this is kind of, kind of fun, pretty good, honestly. So, with my current feelings based on this song, I think it actually would go above Dream Believers, and I'm thinking. Maybe a B plus. I don't know if this song deserves to get an A for me yet. If I continue listening to this and I continue to like it and listen to it a lot, then I am definitely considering and willing to put it into an A. But I don't know if it, it is there quite yet. So if you're wondering why is this one different than the rest, it's because it's a lyric video and it's only the one that's been released currently, but it's by Sedai's Bouquet, these two girls here where we have Kaho and Kozue, I'm trying to remember their names. But so of course this song is actually released in full, so my opinions on it is gonna be a lot more foreign. The only one is released in full so far in terms of the YouTube video. But this song, honestly has been a pretty big win in my books. I don't think it's necessarily a song that everybody will like, but this one really feels like it could have worked really well for kind of like a, a rom-com kind of opening song. And it's kind of got that emotion really built into the song. And I honestly really, really enjoyed this song a lot. Maybe too much so. And it's kind of the one song that I've been put on repeat while I've just been chilling or playing games. This is a song I've been listening to for quite some time for the past few days. So this song, 
I am gonna go a little gutsy in my rankings, and I'm actually gonna give it an S minus. I I like the song a lot, and currently based on how I'm feeling about the song, it it's gonna be quite up in my top list. I don't know, it could potentially be in the top 50, honestly, for me for Love Life Song. I really like this song a lot, and I really enjoyed the singing from Kaho as well as Kozue. They both sing very well, and I enjoy both of their voices. I think I slightly prefer Kaho's voice in here, but overall, this is just a really nice and fun song to listen to. It's not necessarily the fastest song, or it's got the most crazy instrumentals, but I just think it has a great harmonious mix. And something I just really, really like listening to. So honestly, this has been fantastic. So now we go to Awoke, which is by Dolkestra. As you can see, those two girls there. It's going to be just Easter Girls. And this is the second unit that we are going to talk about. So this is with Sayaka and Suziri. So this song kind of has a little more of a, I don't know if I want to say punk or rock kind of feel, but I kind of like it. I don't like it as much as some of the other songs beforehand, especially the one right before this, but I think the singing is actually pretty good in it. These girls got some decent voices. It's not really my style, but overall I think it's a pretty competent song. So... Maybe a B minus, maybe a B if if I'm feeling generous. I'm gonna go and be cautious and give it a B minus as of right now. For the fifth song, we have Do 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 by Miracle Park, which you can see are those two girls right there. So we have. Megami and Rurino. So this song, as I probably you guys figured, I meant a little hinted earlier. I I see there's potential in it. I know there's kind of that little gamey aspect with the instrumentals, the synthesizers, but it feels like it's trying to be like a know, cutesy game almost. And on top of the fact that these two girls seem to have the higher pitched voice, so I guess this is the next version of. I don't know if you want to say that. I don't know if that's quite it. But I just does not not realize kind of that potential that I was hoping from the instrumentals. It just kind of says that really high-pitched cute song. And it's not bad, but it's just not a song that I care to listen to a lot. So uh, if I were to rank this, I would probably just give it a C. I don't know if I'm going to go say C-. minus. I think that's a little harsh at the moment. But it might go to a C minus in the future. So I'll definitely have to see about this one. And the last song is Ayan no Euphoria, which is again by All Six Girls, the Hasuna Soda Girls High School Idol Club. And this is of course kind of similar-esque to the first song Dream Believers and my feelings about the song is more or less kind of similar to that as well. The initial feeling is I think I like this one a little bit more than Dream Believers so I might be willing to give this one instead of a B, a B plus. I don't think I'm ready to give it an A but overall I do think this is a pretty nice song overall and let me just say this it's nice that we had anime backgrounds in it for and each one had a different one for this video that I'm using. I, th I think that's a nice touch even though it's not like the most important thing in the world. I think that was pretty cool. But that is how I feel about each of these songs. So let me know what you guys think about the girls and as well as a song. And here is of course the poll that I mentioned earlier where you can go ahead and participate and give your opinions on these girls so far. I also give you links if you're interested. You can go click on these to learn more about the songs that are in there, as well as learning more about the members. But the first page, as usual, you just fill out your demographics, click next when you're done. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But here is where I have the two sections. So we're going to have the first one. The This is going to be the rankings. You're going to rate 
degrade the girl. So, you know, A, B, C, D, F, however you want to do it, you know, just make sure you give a girl a, a ranking. That's it. But you will have to give every single girl a ranking. But that's more or less it. In case if you can't remember who's who, I put a note here. Hopefully I did it right. I might have screwed up. <laughs> Let me know if I did. Because this is a little early, but, you know, we got Kaho and uh, the rest of the girls here. So hopefully that will help you out to remember. And of course, there's grade the songs as well. Grade a based on you want S through F. Again, S like being like super top tier. This is your favorite song like ever or top few songs. A are songs that you really, really like, but maybe not necessarily favorites and etc. So give the rank you want. And of course, I gave you links if you want to watch the videos there as well to help remind you what you think about these songs. Once you're done, you can go ahead, click submit, and you are done. And then eventually, I'll be able to go ahead and make a video on and see what people think about these songs, you know, early rankings, as well as the girls. And that more or less is it. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And of course, please do participate in, in the poll. I'll definitely look forward to seeing you guys doing it. I'll try to close this pretty one quick because I want to see you guys' early decisions and I don't want too many things to really affect how you guys feel about these girls because it's just out of curiosity. It's nothing really big or important. I just want to see your early initial reactions to these girls and these songs and we'll declare winners, I guess, at some point soon. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.